Hi guys. <clears throat> it is actually a pleasant fall of 2020 morning here on this. Uh, where are we? We are at Friday, October 23rd, 2020. Oh yes, I am Sam Mitchell. This is Collapse Chronicles. This is my little co-pilot, Sancho Panza, doing what we do every Friday here at Collapse Chronicles. And that's head over to mongabay.com to see what uh, is on the minds of Rhett Butler and the boys and girls at mongabay.com as they chronicle as... I think for over 20 years they have been chronicling the collapse of a planet. And what have I done with, oh, there's my glasses. Uh, this will be the very last ecological meltdown roundup rant, as I call this one, from Bugs in a Jar Farm of 2020. So let's wrap it up at Bugs in a Jar and where are we going to start our romp around this collapsing planet? Let's start... Well... Oh, okay, uh, so Manga Bay has its own YouTube channel, which I encourage you to go see. So they do a video each week. This week, uh, their video is the Sumatran Rhino is sliding into extinction. Do you think so? I'm not sure sliding is the word. I would think more like lumbering into extinction. Yes. No more than 80 Sumatran rhinos are believed to survive today. Scattered across isolated and fragmented habitats in Indonesia, driven to the brink of extinction by habitat loss and hunting, Sumatran rhinos today face an even more fundamental threat as experts fear that too few calves are being born to offset even natural deaths in the remaining populations. And this is part of the reason for the megafaunal extinctions. Uh, I'm not going to get into a, uh, an overkill hypothesis rant. Okay, I have no idea. I guess this is Sub-Saharan Africa by the name. We're going to go to Gorongosa National Park is being reforested via coffee and agroforestry. Gorongosa National Park is reforesting itself with the help of shade-grown coffee and other agroforestry crops. Well, guys, uh, you know, I, I don't know where to start on this. For mongabay.com to be in here celebrating coffee plantations inside a national park, uh, we have reached a, 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 a new low here uh, in the collapse of a planet when you have one of the most intelligent environmental organizations on the planet cheering on shade-grown coffee inside a national park. And uh, now I haven't been to Gorongosa National Park, but I did live for six months in the, in the organic shade-growing coffee capital of Peru. Uh, where I actually you know, bought a, some land and built a little house in the organic shade-grown coffee belt of Peru. And uh, guys, anybody who believes one word of this greenwashing crap uh, about uh, how your cup of organic shade-grown coffee is saving this planet, uh, I, 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 I don't have time for it here, but I will gladly sell you a, uh, a worn-out uh, organic shade-grown coffee plantation in Peru. Uh, it, it, it is one of the biggest 
uh, greenwashing BS myths out there and for Manga Bay to sit here and parrot this crap, it really embarrasses me. All right, but enough of having my intelligence insulted here. Uh, let's move along to, uh, let's get back to uh, planet reality. Let's go to Brazil. <clears throat> Brazil's Amazon dam plans. Ominous warnings of future destruction. Yes. <clears throat> Brazil's current 10-year energy expansion plan, can you say Chinese Belt and Road Initiative, calls for three more large dams uh, in Amazonia state by 2029 and Brazil's 2050 national energy plan lists many more. Yes, both plans contain ominous passages explaining that this list of dams could expand if uncertainty uncertainty is resolved regarding current regulations protecting indigenous people in protected areas for biodiversity. I bet uh, Brazil's National Congress is considering bills to eliminate eliminate environmental licensing a bill submitted by President Jair Bozo Nero would allow dams on indigenous lands. Um, Brazil's dam building plans to satisfy 2050 energy demand extend to neighboring Amazonian nations including Peru and Bolivia. Yes. Uh, I think we get it. All right. Uh, you will not believe this. We have never heard this headline before on Manga Bay. I've, I've been doing, you know, reading Manga Bay for 10 years. I have never one time heard this shocking headline. Unbelievable. That paper giant. <clears throat> linked to Borneo forest clearing despite its zero deforestation vow. Hmm, one of the world's biggest pulp and paper producers called April is alleged to have violated its own zero deforestation commitment. Wow! By sourcing wood from a company clearing rainforest in Indonesia, Borneo, a new report says, yes, April denies the allegation and insists it sourced zero deforestation wood. Yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. I love this. Uh, NGOs say the company's claim is premised on an exceedingly narrow definition <clears throat> of what constitutes deforestation. <laughs> yes, I bet. I, I cannot imagine how one of the world's biggest pulp and paper producers uh, could violate its own zero deforestation. How does a pulp and paper producer uh, have a zero deforestation pledge. Do you have a zero chipmunk harassment pledge, Sancho Panza? That's like Sancho Panza making a zero chipmunk harassment pledge. <clears throat> All right. We have more stories on the <clears throat> imminent collapse of the Sumatran Rhino. All right, <clears throat> you know, I've been talking about illegal gold mining <coughs> in Peru for over 10 years. And so now we have the same story over there in Madagascar. Uh, yep, 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 anyway. This, uh, 
gold mining uh, in every tropical rainforest on this planet. Uh, okay, we now have digital land grabs. We have a new, a new term for the glossary of the collapse. Digital land grabs, huh? <clears throat> South American nations, including Brazil and Colombia, are increasingly using geo-referencing technology for registering land ownership. Uh, it, this technology can be used by land grabbers and agribusiness companies to fraudulently obtain deeds depriving traditional communities of their uh, ancestral lands. Do you think so? And take a wild guess who uh, is paying, who is financing this. Can you say the World Bank financing digital land grabbing? Right. You will not, uh, I don't think I've ever heard this headline uh, in Manga Bay either. Ecuadorian indigenous accuse state of crimes against humanity. Yes. How about accusing humanity uh, of crimes against the planet? Anyway, Ecuador's indigenous movement has declared this month Rebel October. <clears throat> yes, to commemorate the violent 11-day protest last year that saw 11 people killed, 63 severely injured, and more than 1,300 protesters arrested. Um, one year later, the government has used the corona panic, huh, as an excuse to pass the very same measures and increase extractive activities in the Ecuadorian Amazon, say indigenous leaders. Ha! Huh. Indigenous communities also say they have been forgotten, forgotten by the government during the corona panic. Mm, imagine that. Yes, Let's go down to the Brazilian Cerrado. At risk, Cerrado mammals need fully protected parks to survive. Do you think so? A newly published camera trap study tracked 21 species of large mammals in Brazil's Cerrado savanna. Um, The probability of finding large threatened species in true, in true reserves was five to ten times higher, uh, you know, than in, uh, I guess, these joke reserves. Uh, <clears throat> with half with half of the Cerrado biomes, two million square kilometers of native vegetation already converted to cattle ranches, soy plantations, and other croplands. Conserving the remaining habitat is urgent if large mammals are to survive there. Do you think so? Yes, little dog. All right. Uh, <laughs> I uh, this is th th this is uh, Manga Bay cheering on Bloomberg Philanthropies, a the foundation launched by businessman and former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg. Yes. All right, we have Michael Bloomberg saving the planet and Rhett Butler cheering him on. Moving along. <clears throat> you, you know, guys, I, I honestly don't know if I, I've done probably 
about 300 of these Manga Bay roundups. I have no idea if Rhett Butler uh, is aware of, of these roundups. He has never given me any sign. Rhett has never told me uh, that he's even aware that I do these. As far as I know, he has no clue uh, that I do these roundups. So, uh, Anyway, I have great respect for Rhett Butler, okay? He is one of my heroes. But how Rhett Butler uh, can sit here and, and cheer on uh, planting coffee inside a national park and, and then be a free PR flack for Michael Bloomberg. Uh, Rhett... Uh, you need to wake up and smell the organic coffee, brother. Anyway... Um, let's see... Here is the question. Why do wombats poop cubes? You'll have to figure that out for yourself. Uh, no other choice. Groups push to protect vast swaths of Antarctic seas. Yes, a, coal a coalition of conservation groups is advocating for the establishment of three new marine protected areas in Antarctica. Uh, Conservationists anticipate that China and Russia may not support these marine protected area proposals due to fishing interest in the region. Do you think so? Alright, let's get our weekly update on the wildfires burning through the Pantanal, the world's biggest wetland. Fire burns Pantanel's upland near Upland Heart and threatens nature's fragile balance. After spreading for nine months across the biodiverse Brazilian Pantanel wetlands, fires have now reached the Amalar Mountains. This upland area is at the heart of the ecosystem and shelters traditional communities. Yes, um, humans and animals uh, now see their way of life menaced by an unprecedented wave of drought and fire. Yes, they are already suffering from air and water common, con contamination due to smoke and soot and dread the fire's aftermath. Yes, with the uplands now devastated by the blazes, jaguars, other mammals, and birds will not have anywhere to flee during the next cycle of annual floods. Yes, so much for the Pantanal. Uh... You will not believe this headline. Deforestation threatens to wipe out a primate melting pot in Indonesia. Unique primate habitats on the Indonesian islands of Sulawesi are under threat from rising deforestation. The island's isolation has allowed macaques and tarsiers there to evolve in unique ways, leading to an explosion of biodiversity found nowhere else but logging, expansion of farmland, and infrastructure projects, which is a long way of saying humans, are driving a growing rate of forest lost including in the hybridization zones that are a key factor in the island's rich variety of primate life. Um, yep, yep, yep. 
Uh, here is how drones are saving Madagascar. Uh, all right, good lord, guys. I've got, I have to go get my camper out of the shop, so uh, let's just. Uh, all right, over here to uh, <clears throat> Bolivia wildfire emergency in Bolivia as fires threaten animal sanctuaries. Yes, more than 120 major fires have been detected in Bolivia's Amazon rainforest. Blah, blah, blah. One of these fires is now threatening an animal sanctuary. Uh, which is being choked by haze as it is flooded with animals in need of rescue from fast-moving fires in the region. Okay, I love it when they ask a question. Does trophy hunting hurt giraffe populations? The answer is yes, it does. Yes. Between 2006 and 2015, trophy hunters legally imported 3,744 giraffe trophies, as well as thousands of giraffe parts and products, such as skin pieces, bones, and bone carvings. Uh, of course, uh, the trophy hunting is just one threat among many, including other issues such as poaching, human wildlife conflict, and do not forget the big one, habitat loss and fragmentation. Yes. All right, we have a... Uh, <clears throat> A video about captive reared scarlet macaws getting released in the jungle. I worked at a scarlet macaw uh, release project in the jungle in Costa Rica back in 2009. I spent three months releasing scarlet macaws into the rainforest. So <clears throat> I was, in, I and these two other people, we were in charge of 16. Uh, of these macaws <clears throat> that we released down there in uh, Costa Rica <coughs> and <clears throat> I had my, my visa ran out. I had to head on to Peru but as I recall within two weeks of releasing 16 of these macaws I'm pretty sure that eight of them had been shot dead by uh, the the local inhabitants, and I never got the report on the other eight, but I have a well, can take a wild guess what happened to them. Uh, <clears throat> All right, but anyway, guys, we're just going to wrap it up uh, with the scarlet macaws the rescued scarlet macaws being gunned down in some jungle. But it has turned into a lovely morning out there. So the little dog and I, we need to head to the camper repair shop and probably pay $2,000 to get my little camper to head to Florida here. In three days, we are off to Florida. <clears throat> And uh, so anyway, uh, if you enjoyed what Rhett Butler had to uh, say to get you depressed this morning, please show Rhett some love by giving him a thumbs up. And if you would like to subscribe to Collapse Chronicles, uh, by all means, we would love to have you. And I really appreciate anyone who has ever uh, supported my work here on YouTube. There are several ways to do that. Uh, and I really, really appreciate the, uh, the moral support of nothing else. 
So anyway, get out there and enjoy. What do we have? 11 days before martial law, civil war, and Mad Max begins. Get out there and enjoy it. I'm off to the camper repair shop. Bye, guys. Are you ready to go for a ride to get the little camper?